just fancy doing a day in the life video today because I don't think I've done one for a little while. Um, so it's a Wednesday morning, it's about maybe quarter past seven, Isabel's still asleep. Um, but she's got nursery today so I'm gonna try and get myself ready quickly. I have been up since like six o'clock but I've just had a really lazy morning and um, just drank my coffee and watched um, some YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get myself ready a little bit before she wakes up which is probably going to be any minute and um, she has a nursery today at 10 past 9 as usual it's her second week of nursery now I think yeah her second week um, so yeah I need to get ready for that I'm then um, gonna come back here um, after I've dropped her off to nursery and just tidy up the house a bit because no matter how much I clean, I clean almost every day now, um, especially since she's been in nursery and I've got spare time to like actually clean the house properly. That's all I feel like I've been doing and then it's all messy again by the end of the day. So I've got like loads of washing to do, dirty dishes, sweep the floors, wipe the surfaces and I really want to mop all the floors today as well. Um, and then when I collect her from nursery, I'm going to drive down to uh, see my sister and my nephew for a bit. Um, I just hope Isabel is in a good mood because yesterday after nursery she was exhausted and I put her straight to bed and she slept for like two and a half hours. But that doesn't always happen every day. I can come home from nursery one day and she won't be that bad and she won't want a nap. And then I, I stay in the whole day thinking like, oh, she'll be tired in a minute. I'm not going to go out. And then she won't nap, so I may as well have just gone out. But it's hard to like plan my days now because obviously she's in nursery in the morning, so I can't really um, like basically all my family and friends live in Cardiff, and I live in Newport, which is about 20 25 minute drive away. Um, so I don't really want to do that um, when Isabel's in nursery in case, like you know, touch wood if anything happens. if she got sick all of a sudden um, or had diarrhea or something or she had an accident and I had to come and collect her like straight away it would take me like 25 minutes or even longer if I've gone out in Cardiff somewhere or you know I've had some car troubles before so I don't want to drive to Cardiff and then have a flat tyre or a flat battery and there's no one else here to pick her up from nursery because obviously Kyron's working in Bristol so yeah, I don't feel comfortable leaving Newport, basically, when she's in nursery. Um, and then in the afternoons, like, I'm like, should I go out? Is she going to be tired? Isn't she going to be tired? So it's quite hard to, like, do something in the afternoons. But I really want to... I can't stay in all day, every day of the week, because all I've done is clean, and it's very boring. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to risk it today and hope she's OK and maybe she'll just have a little power nap in the car on the way down or on the way back um, from Cardiff but yeah um, so yeah that's today's plans um, it's a horrible day outside all this week has been just grey pouring down with rain um, yeah just miserable really So yesterday I done something really stupid and I was making Isabel some toast and I left my card on top of the toaster and didn't realise um, and if you can see it's melted my bank card. So I walked to the bank yesterday and um, I've ordered a new card but that won't be delivered for a couple of days and I don't know about anyone else but I always use my card for everything so I never have cash on me. I did draw out £10 yesterday but then I went to Tesco's and got some foodie bits um, and just some stuff for the house so this is my change from the £10. Um, this £4, £4.15 pence there. I've just raided our um, money pot. This is Kyron's. My parents gave it to him I think for birthday or Christmas or something. Um, yeah, so I've just been raiding that because I need to get petrol to 
drive down to Cardiff later on um, after nursery and I really can't be bothered to walk back to the bank again because it's not that far I guess but I just want to come back here after nursery and clean and not have to walk all the way to the bank. I think it's probably about 15 minute walk there and back um, and I don't want to drive down there because I'm an awful parker and I can't parallel park and that's the only places you can park. It, I'll have to do a parallel park and I can't. Um, so yeah, I've just raided this because I think I've got a little bit of petrol in my car anyway. So I'm just going to put £4 extra in there just in case and then this 15p if I go over on the petrol a little bit. So hopefully that will be enough and my card will be delivered soon and obviously Kyron's got money for milk or whatever else we need until I get my card. Um, so yeah, <laughs> excuse the counter as well, like I said, I do need to clean up a bit. So it's like 8 o'clock in the morning and Isabel is still fast asleep, <coughs> which isn't a problem because I don't actually have to leave the house until 5 past 9 and it doesn't take me that long to get her ready in the morning. Um, I've started, like on the nursery runs, I've started to like obviously change a nappy when she first gets up and then I'll just get her dressed straight away so she's dressed and then obviously she'll have a bib on when she's eating her breakfast and she doesn't tend to get that messy anyway. I can hear her stirring now on the monitor. When she sleeps for too long she really doesn't wake up in a good mood. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get her up now and um, if she's stirring. But yeah, um, I put a wash on and I've just like done a sort of quiffy thing in my hair. Um, and just minimal makeup. I'm only going for the nursery run and then to see my sister, so you know, I don't have to make myself all glam. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get her up. Just thought I'd show you this. Literally, Kyron's mum gives us like one of these massive tubs. If you can see, like, it is ginormous. Tubs of non-bio laundry powder it's 10 kilograms in there and i literally haven't had to buy washing powder since we've moved in here i don't think um i just leave this little glass in there just because like there's no scoop in there for the washing machine but yeah i love it all i have to buy is the fabric softener um i wish i could tell you where she gets it from but i honestly don't know but I think it's like only £11 for this whole giant tub and it's a lifesaver. Good morning sleepyhead. Oh, you wobbly. It's ten past eight. Should we change your nappy and get you dressed? Yeah? Aww. Oh, Bubba. That's sweet. That's sweet. Come on then. Let's get up. Can you do Bubba? Oh. Yep, yeah, I'll change Bubba's nappy too. Hello. Uh -oh. What is it? Uh, What's wrong? A cushion. Uh oh. Papa's a snake. Snake? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, splash, splash. That's it? Papa's in the bath. Quack, quack. Uh, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. So yeah, Isabel's up and dressed for nursery. She just needs some... Oh. 
breakfast and to brush your teeth and put her coats and shoes on. And Mummy still needs to get dressed too. Bless you. Oh, bless you, bless you. Uh oh. So she's just got this like, last. this is from last year, which was a dress on her last year. I don't know if, if it is a dress or supposed to be a long top. Um, but yeah, she's got this on with just some pink leggings, little bows and a little bow on her hair. <coughs> but um, yeah, obviously I don't dress her in like her best clothes for nursery because she gets very mucky doing messy play and all sorts, don't you? So yeah, she's just got some old clothes on. Should we do some breakfast? No. No. Do you want a drink? No. Do you want to go back to bed? No. Do you want to go to nursery? No. Do you want chocolate? No. Bus? I thought she'd say yes. I wasn't really going to give her chocolate though. Bubba's. Papa? Bubba. Bubba's. Are you saying you want to go and see the Bubba's in the nursery? Yeah. Yeah. Let's make some breakfast then. And then we can go. Okay? Oh, she's Push your shoes on after breakfast, is it? I know they're in there. Hello, Isabel. How are you? Yeah. How are you? She wants to look at herself on the camera. But you can't see because i got to reverse it. <laughs> Isabel, you've run away now. Come see. There you are. Every breath I take, every turn I make, every na na na. Mummy doesn't know the words. Na na na, where the fan I go, where I long to be. See the light as it shines on the sea, it calls me. How far it goes. If the wind in my sail on the sea. Stays behind me. One day I'll know how far I go. Oh. I see what's happened. Well, you're all ready for nursery, aren't you? Eager to go, eager to get out the door. I normally walk over. I don't know if you'll be able to see on the phone. It is raining, but as long as it's not pouring down, I think we should be okay. So we're going to risk it, aren't we, Isabel? It's literally a two minute walk, but you know, with a toddler who might decide to have a tantrum halfway through because she wants to go in a different direction that I want to go, could take longer. Don't forget her bag. Are you going to take your bag? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Let's go! I'm home now. Oh my god, it is absolutely pouring down outside. Um, I ended up taking the pram, which I never do, but Isabel, um, <clears throat> it was just absolutely pouring down, so I didn't want Isabel to walk, because sometimes she'll, like, flop to the floor, and if she did, she would be absolutely soaking, like, if she's having a little tantrum. Um, so I took the pram, and I just, uh, the rain cover I got is just so rubbish, so... I thought I'd be okay not putting the rain cover on and I just wrapped her legs in um, a blanket and that kept the rain off her legs and she had a nice like waterproof coat on anyway and the hood of the pram was up so she was fine but on the walk home um, with the pram I just didn't think to put the rain cover on because she wasn't in there <laughs> so um, my pram now is absolutely like drenched you just saw I'm just trying to blow dry it a bit because I don't want it to like 
be damp or whatever. And if the weather's still like this, I'm going to have to pick her up in the pram as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm just blow-drying the pram and I need to go and get petrol, but the bin men are on the street now and it's, I'm going to be waiting behind the bin men for ages to get to the petrol station so I'm just gonna um hang back a bit um finish drying the pram but I got another one of those food packs again from nursery but it looks like the same sort of stuff that I got last week so it's probably left in there there's a few different things in there I'll show you now got hang cooked parsnip crisps they sound really nice and not too bad for you health wise <laughs> some more granola i'm actually pretty sick of this now we've eaten two bags of these it is nice but getting a bit bored of it some more yogurt drinks same flavor some more tomato puree i think i'm gonna take some of this food to my mum's house because we're not gonna use all these purees um, we've got another little yoghurt drink, but like sort of a on-the-go size, strawberry and raspberry one. We've got some more squares, uh, Kai can take these to work or whatever. Got another on-the-go yoghurt drink, excuse the floor, it's dirty because obviously I've just walked in with the pram and it's pouring down, so it's all being dragged inside the house and I need to mop anyway. Um, some more tomato puree, some more yazoos, cantonini beans. I'm not a fan of beans, but Kyron likes them in like burritos and things, so I've got two of those. I've got some Pringles, tortilla chip Pringles, and got a tomato sauce with onion and garlic this hasn't gone off yet 30th of June I'm guessing the label fell off well yep yeah. and some rice is that it This is the leaflet. This is the leaflet that comes. That's the company Jesus Cares, and it says like, best the best before date. Um, basically means like, it's still edible and it's still safe to eat, but basically the texture and the taste of the food won't be like as good. And apparently. The UK throws away 7.2 million tonnes of food and drink, which could have been eaten. It's like, yeah, every year. So that's like from the NHS and approved food, like saying that. So when you think about it like that, like it is such a waste and I'm, I'm really not a wasteful person at all. Like I hate wasting things. So yeah, I'm going to give some of this to um, my mum and my sister, definitely the, the tomato purees. Um, and the granola maybe as well because I'm just sick of it <laughs> and this is why I need the stroller okay so I've picked Isabella up it's still pouring down with rain you can probably hear um, I did some housework not as much as I normally do like on a proper cleaning day but I do that Monday so I don't want to like, be cleaning like a deep clean every day like I do that every Monday and then sort of keep on top of it the rest of the week so I just did like the dishes the laundry um and clean laundry like put away and swept the floors um so yeah I'm just gonna drive to Cardiff now to my see my sister and my nephew um they told me that Isabel at a lot of food today at snack time they have snack time in nursery and when I came to collect her they said um she's eating loads she kept going back for more so they gave me like a little note it's all crumpled because Isabel actually gave it to me they gave it to her to give to me so I said today at snack time I ate tuna sweet corn wraps fruit and I ate lots I enjoyed playing with water and doing role play so yeah 
Anyway, I better make a move before Isabel starts playing up because I think she's tired. So let's go. Isabel, do you love him? Oh, that's nice. I got that on camera too. Oh, and again. Oh, it's, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.